Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Tron Bluetooth transmitter and receiver. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So here are some specs. I'll go over a couple of these. The transmit range is 33 feet or 10 meters. The battery is 200 milliamp hours. It has a 3.7 volt lithium battery. The receiver working time is up to nine hours. The transmitter working time is up to 10 hours. The charging time is around two hours. So so this device is sort of a multi-tool for Bluetooth. And here's the device. It's a little smaller than say something like a Zippo lighter. So this device can be used to add Bluetooth to devices that don't already have Bluetooth. And here's a variety of cables and a welcome guide. So say you have a favorite pair of wired headphones that you want to use wirelessly, you can use this to do that. Alternatively, if you have a TV that doesn't have Bluetooth and you want to send the audio to Bluetooth headphones or a speaker, you can use this for that also. So this can transmit or receive Bluetooth. So let's look at the manual here. So this talks about what the package includes. You can see the different cables here. We have, it looks like a stereo to stereo connector, a stereo to stereo cable. Here is an RCA to eighth inch jack and a micro USB charging cable. And here we have the specs again. And if you look under code codec here, it lists off the codecs it supports. And here's a note about the codecs. So it talks about the latency related to the codecs. Here's a diagram on how to plug it in. And I'm going to demonstrate using this. So these instructions talk about how to set it up. So I'm going to read through these and I will go through setting this up and I'll demonstrate it. In the meantime, I'm going to start this charging. So I'll plug this into micro USB and I'll plug it into my USB power bank. So it's hard to see on camera, but there's a tiny red dot there that shows that it's charging. Okay, so I've read through the manual. I think I can demonstrate this. So to start off, I have these speakers here. They don't have Bluetooth on them, and I want to send audio to them from my tablet. So I'm using speakers here, but you could also substitute headphones for this. So I have the eighth inch jack here. I'll plug that into the device. And I want this in receive mode because I want to receive Bluetooth with this. And then I want to hold down the multifunction button for three seconds. And then I want to double tap it. Now I'll go to the Bluetooth settings on my tablet and I'll wait for this to show up. Okay, here we go. We have the Tron BT Duo S. I'll tap that. We're paired up now. I'll go into my audio and I'll start playing it. And I need to turn the speakers on, so. There we go. So if we want to adjust the volume, we can press plus and minus here. So that would be really handy on headphones. So that's working in receive mode, but this can also work in transmit mode. So I'm going to hold this down for three seconds until it shuts off. I'll go over here and I'll switch it to transmit mode. So here I have my tablet and I need to connect this up to it. So I could use either this cable plugged into both, or you can use this. This plugs into this side and this will plug into my tablet like so. But there are certain instances where this would come in very handy. So I have this connected to a tablet, but imagine you plug this into the back of a TV that has a headphone jack in the back. Then you could transmit this to some Bluetooth headphones or to a Bluetooth speaker. I'm just using an iPad because it's easier to display on my bench here. So let me pull this out for a sec. So again, so we have that on transmit mode. I'll go here to the multifunction button. I'll hold that down. I'll double tap it. It's in pairing mode. You can see that blue and red flashing. I'll plug it in here. And now I'll turn on my Bluetooth speaker. Now you want to make sure your speaker is not paired with anything else. Okay, so that is paired up, or that is turned on. I'll start playing some music out of here, and this should pair up. So I may have this paired with another device. Let me try the speaker. And I could reset this. I forget off the top of my head. This one, I think, is not paired with anything, so I'll turn it on. There we go. So now we have audio coming out the Bluetooth speaker. So you can pair this with two different speakers or headphones in transmit mode. In receive mode, you can pair it with two devices, but it can only receive from one device at a time. So if you turn this on and turn it back on, you shouldn't have to pair it unless you switch modes. You can see here are the instructions on resetting it in transmit and receive mode. So if you turn it off and switch modes, it will reset it. So that's something to keep in mind if you're having trouble pairing it. Go ahead and turn it off and reset it. So there are many, many applications for this. So one application for this is you could hook this into a record player. You need one that doesn't need a preamp. 
and you can transmit the record player with Bluetooth wirelessly to a Bluetooth speaker. So if you have a record player inside of your house and you want to listen to a record by the pool, you could do that, or you could take your Bluetooth speaker in the kitchen or a garage and listen to it there. You could plug this into the back of a TV and then have a Bluetooth speaker next to your chair so you can hear it more easily, or you could do headphones so you could listen to it while, say, a spouse is sleeping at night. Of course, that's in the transmit mode. In the receive mode, you could put on your favorite wired headphones, connect it into this, and then transmit audio from your tablet or computer phone to your favorite headphones. You can use this to add Bluetooth capabilities to an older receiver or stereo system, or like I was doing here, you could do it to some computer speakers. So there are lots of applications for a device like this. I like this as small, so this could easily fit in your pocket. So if you want to hook this up to some wired headphones, it's not going to take up much room. This will also fit easily behind a stereo. And like I said, this does have the battery in it, but you can also plug it in to USB. So if you want to have this connected up to your stereo and just leave it on all the time, you can do that too. So that's the Tron Bluetooth wireless transmitter and receiver. That's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.